What's up guys, we've been getting a lot of requests on how to finish triangles when you have short legs. Uh, so today I'm gonna be going over a few of my main triangles that I hit in training. Uh, the first one we're gonna start out with is just your standard front triangle. So, <clears throat> we're gonna start out in a position like so, where we just have our ankles crossed and not a full figure four. Now, <clears throat> from here, the thing that allows me to lock up uh, a full figure four is eliminating as much of his back as possible. If his back is in there and I don't have an angle and I'm trying to lock up a figure four, even if I can get a figure four, it's not gonna be very tight. So our whole thing is to try and get an angle. So the way I like to do this is number one, I always like to start with a two on one and pushing the elbow across. Okay, if this elbow is blocking my hip, it's gonna make it difficult to get that angle. So from here, I'll elevate my hips up and I'll start pushing it across. Now from here, I like to start cupping in the head and then I like to start either scooping into the arm or preferably the leg. Now, <clears throat> a mistake a lot of people make is they unlock their triangle and they try and grab the shin and push off the hip, but a lot of times it's easy for him to start pulling his head out. So <clears throat> the way that I like to cut my angle is I like to cup ins uh, inside the head to help control his posture. And now I'm extending my hamstring into his shoulder. As I do this, I'm pulling with my arm and I'm thinking about pointing both of my legs out towards my left hand side. So from here, I'm extending my hamstring into my shoulder and I'm turning around the corner so that both of my feet point in the same direction. So what this does now is it completely eliminates his back from the situation and now I only have to lock a figure four around his shoulder and his head. From here, we keep his posture controlled, we elevate our hips up, we lock our triangle, and I point my knee out in this direction so that both of my feet are flaring in the same way. And then from here, it's fairly easy to lock up the figure four, just give a strong back heel and get the finish. Next one we're gonna go to uh, is a situation where we can't get the elbow across because he's over wrapping our hip. So <clears throat> we start out <clears throat> in our trap triangle and this time he's over wrapping our hip. So this is gonna make it impossible for me to cut the correct angle. So from here, we're gonna lock the triangle what's known as the wrong way. But when we do it, we're gonna do that same motion of using my hamstring against his shoulder to help me cut an angle in the opposite direction. So once again, we're just gonna cup the head and look to start scooping inside of his leg. Again, if, if his back is in, it's gonna be hard to lock up a full figure four and it's gonna be, be tough to uh, finish even if we can. So from here, what I wanna do is I wanna think about inverting this knee so that it cuts more of his back out. And again, it makes it easier to lock when we only have to lock around the shoulder and the head. So <clears throat> I'm using my hamstring on top of his shoulder. I'm pushing off and I'm looking to invert so that my knee comes behind his head and that this will eliminate the majority of his back. This will make it much easier to start locking up. If we need to hand assist, we grab the sole of our foot. Okay, it's much better than grabbing the ankle. So we grab the sole of our foot, we pull it in and we lock up the figure four. From here, once again, I look to turn my knee in like so, so that my foot flares out towards the ceiling. And now from here, we just give a strong back heel, a strong pinch of the knees and we get a nice tight finish.
next one we're going to go over is called a, uh, an ankle senkaku. And to be honest, I think this is probably the easiest triangle to lock up uh, for people with short legs because there's no need to cut an angle or anything. Your knee's already inverted and your ankle is directly in his neck. So there's no need to worry about eliminating the back. When you lock it up, it's just already around just the head and shoulders. So <clears throat> we're gonna look at a quick setup for this one. Okay, we're gonna start out in a turtle position where we have both of our hooks in. Now from here, I'm just gonna look to grab a one-on-one -on -one like so, and I'm gonna allow, to, uh, allow my body to start sagging off towards the side. As it starts sagging off towards the side, I'm gonna release my bottom hook and I'm gonna start to pummel my right leg through. Now, as I fall, I'm gonna think about getting my ankle directly in his neck like so. And now from here, once again, since the back is already eliminated, it's gonna be fairly easy to lock up a figure four. If we need to hand assist, we grab the sole of the foot, we lock up our figure four, and then we just pinch our left knee in as we give a strong back heel and we get a nice tight finish. at is a, uh, a back triangle so we're gonna start out on our opponent's back from here we're gonna look to start locking up a gift wrap now I'm gonna look to start trapping my opponent's arm normally when I do this I like to switch to a post on the hip okay and I kind of shorten my elbow so that I can push him down and then ride my left leg up this will make it much easier to start throwing my second leg over the top and then from here, start connecting my heels together so that I can push his wrist away and then pummel my leg underneath his arm. Now, <clears throat> the mistake a lot of people make is they don't think about getting the knuckles away from the chest. So even if I manage to send him over to the other side and his knuckles are close to his chest, it feels extremely hard to lock up a full figure four. So once, <clears throat> come back into me, yep. <clears throat> So once I've gotten the arm trapped from here, instead of staying with the gift wrap, I'm gonna look to unlock my hands and I'm gonna look to pummel my arm underneath going elbow deep around his wrist. Now from here, I just think about connecting his knuckles to my chest. From here, I'm gonna look to extend my right hamstring into his shoulder. Okay, I'm using this to help push me across to my other hip. Once we're in this position, I look to start scissoring my legs like so, where I connect my heel and my knee together. Now that his knuckles away, are away from his chest, it makes it significantly easier to start locking up our figure four. Again, if we need to hand assist, we don't grab the ankle, we grab the sole of the foot, we pull it up, we lock, and then we just tuck our outside leg into his far hip. Now from here, left knee pinches in, I just give a strong back heel, and we get a nice tight finish.
mistake a lot of people make with their standard front and reverse triangles is they don't think about eliminating as much of the back as possible. So they try and lock a figure four where you have to lock over his head, shoulders, and a, a portion of his back. So whenever we're in those positions, you wanna cut the angle to eliminate as much of the back as possible. So that way you only have to lock a figure four around his head and shoulders and it makes it significantly easier.